Oh, hello, hi everyone, in front of this uh, artist's house. You can see beautiful painted, do decorated door. We're gonna go for a nice ride and we try today to talk about, lots of people have been asking me, uh, cycling to burn fat. How it's done, is it possible? I'd like to cycle to burn fat, how can I do it? How do you achieve that? How do you do it? So we, we're gonna go for a ride and little by little I will explain you my methods, the one they've been working and, uh, and so on. So today we try to talk about cycling to burn fat. Let's go. Life live it. Let's try to get the most out of this life. As you already know and noticed, the population is getting more and more overweight. Obesity, even in children, is really sad to see and it's happening everywhere around the world. Because modern food, modern food manufacturers and producers, they tend to hide what's in the ingredient they hide it in different names, they use different names to hide what is bad for us. Too much consumption of, for example, pure sugars or saturated fat. All those things, they are uh, encouraging our body to put on, to absorb and to put on more and more fat. And we asking ourselves, why I'm putting on so much fat? Some people don't need to ask themselves, they just realize that they like eating. And so we try to solve this problem by doing some more sport, like I like cycling, but you could be walking or like jogging or doing swimming. As long as you do more activity and, uh, and then we talk about what to eat and uh, what try to avoid or to reduce the consumption of it. One of the first key factor to start the process is first of all fighting laziness. Of course, being lazy is the beginning of becoming overweight and uh, once you are overweight then you feel even more lazy and everything f seems so impossible you know it's, you just discourage so much and you think there's nothing to do my body want me to be fat and I am fat and I have to accept this condition and this is very frustrating this is really not very good for your psychology for your well-being so instead we have to try whatever point you've reached of, of overweightness of being heavy and fat, we have to say, that's enough, I'm gonna start this process. The fatter, the bigger you are, of course, the longer will be the process. But the result, the achievement, the daily, the weekly uh, diminishing of your weight on your body fat and you start looking better and feeling better is very motivating. Trust me, and uh, you can really achieve that. I saw and suggested to many friends to do it. I'm. Uh, not entitled to do to give you a diet i'm not a nutritionist but i'm a sports coach a former athlete in alpine skiing i studied sports conditioning and nutrition and how the body works and everything and so i can tell you what has been working for myself because myself as well i shift up and down with my weight in the winter time maybe we ski all day but it's not an aerobic exercise it's not enough for me to burn fat to burn to sweat and to burn this extra calorie of the heavy food that you eat in the mountains. It's all about potatoes and cheese and meat, the very salty meat and sugars and pastry. And you are in company with people, you need to play the game and, and be pleasant with everything. But if you do that, then you really have to work much harder to burn it off. And so let's talk about that. Cycling is the way to feel good and to travel and to visit and to explore. There are different ways to, to try to burn the fat, to lose weight, uh, different diet, different opinions, everybody, there's so much confusion around. And myself, as I'm a curious person, uh, I, I studied everything I could find. And uh, once upon a time, if you scroll back to some of my videos, uh, I tried the vegan diet, although I don't have any health problem or issues. I always know that you need to work hard to exercise, but I wanted to give it a try to have uh, been vegan for uh, three years. And the way I dropped the weight um, is, is was impressive. I really get down very low to 8% body weight, body fat. Uh, and then um, it, it is quite complicated as a, as a lifestyle. You know, you, you cannot get invited to any place, to anybody. You start annoying people because they, you know, they always worry, yeah, we, we'd like to invite them or him, but you know, it's so difficult. What we're gonna cook, what is gonna like, what is gonna... So in the end, uh, but that's very good. It's a very good diet. You really feel the metabolism accelerating. You see, you feel the fat dropping off your body and everything. Then um, I gave up for a bit and I started introducing back some fish again. A very little meat. I reduced quite a lot the meat 
particularly the, the red meat, you know, uh, the really heavy in, high in cholesterol meat. And uh, now I came to realize that I eat a bit of everything, but I, I've been paying more attention into the, the added sugars. So when you read the labels of the products you buy, you see there's always carbohydrates of which sugars. The lower the number of those which sugars, the better. And then also the fat, the lower in fat and the lower in saturated fat, particularly the saturated fat are really bad for us. That's what causes cholesterol, that causes slow the, the bloodstream and everything. So just be careful on those two parameters. And then the top of the secrets is just to increase the, the exercise. So you go out, now there are many instruments to tell you what you've been burning approximately. So you know that the basic body of a man or a woman is around 1500 2000 calories a day as a normal living being so then if you introduce 2000 calories being careful and then you go out and you exercise you burn more than 2000 you try to burn more than what you put in your body and you try different ways but don't try you know don't be hungry always feed your body give them nutrients but just be careful on those things. Reducing the sugar, the, the pure sugars, the added sugar, don't add sugars in drinks, don't drink any sugary drinks, beer as well, a little glass of wine every now and again, but be careful because fizzy drinks are really high in sugars. They can be up to nine spoons of sugar in a can of, of those sweet drinks. So avoid all of that. Because when we're drinking, we don't realize how many calories we're putting, you know? So just drink water, glass of wine if you like every now and again better than beer because beer makes you really bloated you know and uh, and then for food uh, reducing as much as you can the, the sugars the cakes if you are a greedy I, I really love sugars I really love cakes and pastries that's it's quite hard for me so in case I want to have a little treat I'll have it early in the morning during breakfast because then you got all day for your body to burn it off the worst of course is to eat something after dinner and then straight into couch or into the bed so I hope, I hope this uh, could help. It's a little beginning of the startup of your process. Give it a go. If you want to ask any more questions, uh, yeah, you let me know. Yeah, of course. You let me know any more questions. And uh, I tell you, this is really working. The process is dropping down one and a half, two kilos a week. It's very feasible, wherever you are in your level. And just be patient, be patient. Exercise, the regular is the exercise, the better. So if you go out daily, or every second day. Don't try to feel completely exhausted every time you go out. Just go out for a spin, go out for an hour, as long as you go out and you keep your body moving a little bit. And then you realize how much you've been burning and how much you wanna put in your body. Have a nice day, keep riding, keep fit, and get out more because it's fabulous outdoors. Bye. We are in this uh, 2021 lockdown period of this uh, coronavirus. And so it could be a good opportunity to start getting into cycling because the roads are much quieter. I've been riding on this country road for a while, freshly tarmacked, no one on the road, very few cars, birds are singing, animals roaming around, and you just get the legs spinning. Spinning, spinning, spinning. So if you're a beginner, what a better opportunity to go out. The, the air is also fresher, the less pollution. Fantastic. One of the first mistakes that I see, a friend of mine that I, they never been sporty particularly, they are, you know, in other type of businesses, so they do a sedentary life. And as soon as I tell them about this, to get into more active, to get on a bike, to start doing some exercise, first thing they go, they go and buy a bicycle, everything they need, but they also, start buying a lot of these nutritional products and gels and bars and drinks be very careful because these things are really caloric are full of sugars and you know if you need to drop weight you don't need this you know before you need to choose something like this you need you have to burn off everything else that you already have accumulated over the months make sure you you keep your body healthy but you need to you need to go out for more than 50 kilometers to start of course when you are fit when you are an athlete you want to eat something every 20 minutes everybody says every 20 minutes you choose something but if you are someone that has already had so much and breakfast and everything in the past you know so if you want in the next video i'm going to tell you about a little bit what to eat 
before the ride, during the ride and post the ride, always with the purpose of dropping fat or dropping weight in mind. Because that depends also on the target. If the target is to drop in weight, to get slimmer, to get fitter, then, you know, we have to keep that in mind, okay? And as usual, as an outro to my videos, thanks everyone. Those that have subscribed or those that will subscribe to my channel, Fabulous Sport Outdoors and Photography, you're welcome to subscribe, to hit the bell, so you can see when I'm gonna put another video. Let me know your topics, what you like to know a bit more about, my experiences of riding or things like that. And uh, you're welcome to subscribe, to like, and i see you in the next video. Bye! Hey. Yeah.